This is Amy with Friends of the St. Clair River, and today I went out to Pine River Nature Center to see what kind of animals I could find in the Pine River. So here at the stream at Pine River Nature Center, we are looking for macroinvertebrates today. And a macroinvertebrate is a little organism that lives in the water. So macro means it's small, but we can still see it with our eye. An invertebrate is an animal without a backbone. So we are gonna look for macroinvertebrates. Most of the macroinvertebrates that we find are actually baby bugs. So they're the larval form or the nymph form of things like dragonflies and mayflies and caddisflies. So we're gonna see what we can find. So for those of you who've done a wetland program with us down at Wetlands County Park, you know that in that pond, in order to find macroinvertebrates, we dig out the detritus. And detritus is things that, like leaves and plants that are rotting at the bottom of a pond. Well, here in this river, you will notice we do not have a lot of detritus. So our technique here is just gonna be flipping over rocks. So the cool thing about doing our macroinvertebrate survey this way is we don't really need any tools. We just need our hands and our boots. So we're gonna flip over some rocks and see what kind of macroinvertebrates we can find. Okay, so this is Cameron and he's gonna demonstrate uh, our technique for looking for bugs that live on the bottom of the rock. So go ahead, Cam. So you find a rock, flip it over, and then see what you can find. And on this rock, Cameron found some caddisfly cases, it looks like. So there's another one of those caddisfly cases. Go ahead and put it back. Mm -hmm. And then when you're done, you're going to put the rock back where you found it. Make sure you put it the side down that was in the river. Let's try another one. Ooh, this one has a water penny right there. Water pennies are awesome. They are an indicator of excellent water quality. That is a great find. This is a rock I just turned over and there is a mayfly scurrying away. I'm trying to get back. We'll put them back in a second, but there is a great collection of caddisfly cases. You can see how they are made of lots of smaller rocks from the river. So there are caddisfly larvae living inside those cases. They're like sleeping bags for bugs. So this rock has some good caddisfly cases on it. And there are two different kinds of caddisflies. There are case-making caddisflies and there are net-spinning caddisflies. So these are some examples of cases made by caddisflies. So there actually is a small invertebrate living in that little case. And the case I'm talking about is right here by my th thumb, right there. These are net-spinning caddisflies. So they don't make their home out of rocks like the case-making caddisflies caddisflies do. Net spinning caddisflies actually spin a silk and make themselves a home. This is what the case making caddisfly looks like outside of his case. So this is the case making caddisfly larva outside of his case. We found a lot of these guys today. These are mayflies and mayflies are actually the larval or nymph form of what we usually call fish flies. Most mayfly larvae have three tails. That's one of the tools that we use to identify them. We have another good sized mayfly on this rock. He's pretty well camouflaged, but there he is right there. And you can see he's got three tails and this is his head where my thumb is. So this rock and here's another two mayflies scurrying around. The mayflies are super active today. We've probably found about 15 or 20 just in maybe the half hour we've been searching. In this video, you can see the mayfly's gills beating. That's how he gets oxygen from the water. Can you see? Oh, perfect. Yeah. Can you point to him, Cam? Yeah. Oh, and we lost him. Our last find of the day was this crayfish. Crayfish are considered macroinvertebrates, even though they're bigger than most of the things that we found today. We hope that you enjoyed turning over rocks with us in the Pine River, and hopefully you'll get a chance to get out and try this yourself. Remember to take an adult with you and wear your boots, and maybe bring a magnifying glass so you can get a closer look at what you find. Get out there and explore your watershed.